Thank you for your interest in our grant work here at Whatcom Community College. At WCC, we've been engaged in course-based undergraduate research experiences, or CURES, for quite some time. And with this funding, we've had a chance to explore this topic through two different lenses or pathways, if you will. But before I talk about those two pathways, just a quick overview of who we are. WCC is a small, about 3,300 full-time equivalent students, over 200 faculty, community college in Northwest Washington. The majority of students engaged in our 20 plus classes that engage in CURE work are students who intend to transfer to a four-year institution. So what is a CURE? CURES are opportunities for students to engage in undergraduate research within the structure of the class. This provides a chance for students who don't necessarily identify as STEM majors to see themselves as scientists as they engage in the process of doing original research in their course. It also has the potential to address equity um, in that both because it's not an extra, it's rather a part of the course, so students don't have to opt in, plus it shifts the dynamic of the instructor and student relationship as co-developers of knowledge rather than a more of a hierarchical model. So when considering the path of larger institutional change, we are interested in whether cures can serve as a mechanism to support institutional change through an equity lens. Uh, with this research in mind and applying Henderson et al's theory of change model, we assembled an advisory board of leadership, including in addition to STEM faculty. Uh, we conducted a, a retreat where we engaged in institutional strategic planning uh, with this advisory board. And we were worked to learn from current practitioners, which we'll talk more about in just a bit. This approach has led to a larger knowledge and commitment to cures across the college from administrators and a chance to really look at the larger picture to determine how cures fit into that larger picture and a desire to better learn um, what cures look like both in STEM classes as well as cor courses where authentic practices might not look like research. That uh, this is positioned as well to make sure that we can use the language that's appropriate for given domains rather than just focus on STEM specific language to sure we're able to have a larger campus wide conversation moving forward. Uh, for our pathway, our other pathway, uh, we've worked closely to support faculty or both early cure adopters to those that are just now dipping dipping their toes into the cure waters. Uh, in order to assure support is ongoing and to learn from these faculty, we find that time together is critical. We are fortunate to have funding prior to this grant that afforded a two day retreat focused purely on cures and cure development. 15 of those 16 participants have continued to work with us through this grant. In addition, we've brought new members in so that we can support faculty as they're all along the continuum of cures in a mode of faculty learning community. To that end, we work to develop a working definition for our FLC, and we also have used the technique of design clinics to support faculty as they work through challenges of different aspects of cure implementation, whether it's envisioning how a long term, how a term paper assignment can transform into a cure, to how someone who's been implementing cures for quite some time can manage the data students have been accumulating in order to most effectively share with future students and colleagues. To build on these conversations, I've also interviewed all 18 of our FLC participants, and I'm working through that data now. Preliminary results indicate that time together with faculty are critical, which our survey responses are also showing that the ability to implement a cure is building and that there's support to help them in places where it might not. Uh, the largest challenge for all faculty is finding time to develop fully fleshed out cure when starting from scratch and that there is a much greater anxiety with newer faculty and adjunct faculty. And while all faculty agree that cures are an equity based approach to learning for students, what that means for different faculty varies. Um, so things we're hoping to get feedback include how do we better center equity into these conversations since there is such a varied sense of what we're talking about. Um, we have a tremendous leadership turnover in a very short time frame. And this is made a little bit challenging within the grant structure. So how do we maintain the benefits of keeping leadership on board while also having to bring them up to speed on where we are in the grant and in the work at the college? And lastly, what are creative ways that we can create that much needed time and space for faculty to develop and support each other in their care endeavors? Thank you for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.